let's see where we're at today folks to me that looks like an engine in the hole this big mess I made over here don't need to worry about that right now so yeah got the uh, engine tucked up underneath here today we're gonna get her put back in place hopefully get a majority of it hooked back up I don't know maybe run we'll find out on this episode of fixed ish So this is probably about the scariest part right here, getting this lifted up in the hole. Uh, try not to crush anything. I do have a decent amount of space around stuff. This this side's probably the closest to everything. Got to get this guy hooked up as I put it in there because it is a pain in the butt. So then this side got quite a bit of room. And then if you can't hear in the background, we are jamming out to a little motionless and white. Maybe we have a few few fans out there, possibly. I don't know. I'm going to unhook this. Let it hang down. Might be a little safer for what I'm doing. Alright, let me know if I'm about to mess up, guys. Probably start scooting this back just a little bit and then uh, you'll want to put let's shine some light on that coolant hose in prior to having it in place because it's a booger go for an adventure all right coming in from this side So that's the hose I'm looking at. It's kind of a booger to get. And I believe, oh shoot, I never got that hose clamp on there. That could have been a bad deal. Look at this, guys. That could have been way bad. I remember seeing this too. I think even on a previous video I said, I better not forget this hose. So I forgot to clamp that on. And then the hose behind it. So, yeah, I gotta do that right now because that's not good if I forget that stuff. Okay, so I had to wrap this up. This is uh, this is your coolant uh, bottle hose or recovery tank hose. This one with the T, this one with the T comes up. That's actually what goes into here. And then, uh, my bottle recovery hose, this guy, it goes into that T. So I'm gonna do this combination of hoses down here because I can reach it better. It's another reason why nobody shows you this stuff because they don't want to show you that they're just struggling getting this stuff on there. Because I'll tell you what. <laughs> It is a struggle getting this on there. I will be the first one to tell you. you. Gotta grab your ass if you snap yourself with this thing. It sucks when you snap yourselves with these uh, hose clamps. They're, they're uh, pretty unforgiving. There we go. Okay, got that one on. Now this other one I gotta get, it is not gonna be fun. I don't even necessarily remember how I got it. Let's 
So I'll probably have to take this. That hose clamp is supposed to hold itself. I wonder if I can force it up where it needs to be. Word to the wise, don't try to don't try to prop this tang up right here because it's just gonna break the hose clamp. So that's what I did. I broke that hose clamp. We're gonna make a we're gonna make a normal hose clamp, warm hose clamp work. Um, got it closed down to pretty close to where it needs to be, and then some nifty little cutters here. These are like mini bolt cutters. I love these things. I don't break the sucker out often, but it's my long reach quarter inch. You gotta be kind of careful because they're plastic fittings. You don't wanna get too crazy. I'm going like an eighth turn at a time. Okay, I got the hoses on there. It's not the prettiest thing in the world. <laughs> on top of that, I got I got that lower hose clamp kind of straddling the hose. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be super fun to do later in life. But anyways, uh, make sure this AC line runs up on that side of the uh, coolant hose. And then once this gets raised up, this will be out of the way. It just looks weird now because it's under tension because I'm not all up all the way. Back to the top side. I got probably the worst couple coolant lines to get done. Next fun part, drive shafts. Drive shafts in. Woo! Put the engine back on my jack stand. I didn't exactly get it super square. So I'm having a hell of a time getting this to go up straight or straight-ish. All right, so I messed up the motor mount bracket when I started to when I started to bolt it in through the top. My engine's tilted, and I thought I had it on the correct angle. So what I ended up doing was instead of getting it nice and square. I got it kind of cocked off to the side. So I messed up the first two threads on it. Now sometimes what you can do is you can take your bolt and you can, if it's long enough, 
run it backwards, but I can't come all the way up through and get the two threads that are messed up on top. So the next best thing you can do is a steel bolt aluminum uh, piece of metal. This is harder than this. So what you can do is you can uh, cut a couple flutes with like a grinder and make sure you get it lower than the thread so that way when you start to cut a new thread the material has somewhere to go. And I should be able to hopefully get this lined up fairly square with the first thread that I want to get on there and kind of walk it in and out just like that. And that way you don't totally mess up your housing. And these couple threads right here don't matter. And neither do these couple, because it's engaged pretty far in there. So you can see right there, I fixed it. And it wasn't even that bad. It was a, just a thread or two. So there we go. Easy fix if you ever have something like that happen. It's a lot easier when you have a steel bolt and aluminum housing. Uh, kind of probably want to use a tap if you're going steel into steel. I'm going to try to do a better job of outlining this up this time. Alright, good news. Motor is in its respective place. Still have a little bit of adjustment to do. I don't have these totally secured down, but trans mount on, motor mount on. body mount I got the the bolt sitting in it the other undercarriage mount there it is got that sitting in it and I got oh, you can see inside there the steering linkage kind of in there so we're getting there I still have quite a bit to do uh, one of the things I want to do before I get totally done with this I just want to flush out the uh, trans cooler and then I'm gonna drain the transmission fill it back up I gotta figure out how to do that because I lost a lot of transmission fluid when I did all that I still have to get a bunch of body mounts and stuff yeah because most of them broke off but we're not too terribly far away guys not too terribly far away Next up, just start hooking up some things. Secure motor mount, hook up the wiring, brackets, got a couple hoses to run. And then the ultimate question will be, when I'm all done, does it run? Assuming everything runs, works, all that kind of stuff, I'll have to, uh, I'm gonna drive it for a little bit, make sure I don't have any problems before I spend money on the refrigerant. We got to get a little dog action. Hi Shelby. Soapy, come here girl. Come here. Up. Good girl. Say hi. Say hi. Come here. Come here. Up. Oh, good girl. Where's your toy? <coughs> toy. Here's your toy. You want inside? <coughs> yeah? You want inside? Here, look at me. Look at me. What a good girl. Yeah. Good girl. A little one-eyed bandit. A little one-eyed bandit. One side.